getting to school. Inclusive education helps all children to access education in their local school. We know that access does not just start at the school gate. The journey to school can influence whether children attend school and are able to participate and learn in class. Accessibility challenges. Children with disabilities can face many barriers getting to and from their local school, such as uneven roads and paths, or big ditches or steps. Not all children with disabilities have mobility aids like wheelchairs, scooters or crutches. But even when they do, inaccessible paths may make it difficult to use these mobility aids. Buses or trains may not be accessible for children who cannot move easily or see well. In some places, bus drivers may not even let children with disabilities onto their buses. Health and safety challenges. The physical difficulties of getting to school can make children very tired, dirty or late. For some, the journey is simply too difficult to attempt, so they stay at home. It is not just children with disabilities who have difficult or dangerous journeys to school. Children may have to walk along or cross over very busy roads or use unsafe bridges. There are some difficulties getting to school, for example, crossing the road, the traffic is heavy, many cars and motorcycles, and this sometimes causes me to be late for school. This impacts on my results and studies, because if you are very late, you can lose marks. Children may face violence on the journey to school. Girls, in particular, may face sexual abuse or harassment, but boys also encounter bullying or other violence. Parents sometimes feel too scared to let their children go to school, especially girls and children with disabilities. Another factor is the distance to come to school. It is difficult to ask a child to come a long distance to school because the parents worry about safety and also about the physical state of the child. But these sorts of barriers do not have to stop children going to school. What can you do? You can talk to children and parents to get a clear picture of the challenges children face on the journey to school and then start working out solutions together. You can collaborate with teachers and parents to work out a rota so that trusted adults and older children take turns to help younger children and children with disabilities get to school.
you can encourage a buddy system so that children help their friends with the journey. You can work with teachers, parents and disabled people's organisations to raise awareness in the community about child safety and preventing violence against children, especially girls and children with disabilities. Donc, pourtant ces enfants ont les droits, ils doivent aller à l'école comme les autres enfants. Children with disabilities have the right to go to school the same as other children. I think it is possible if the government invests money so that children can go to school. We talk about education for all, but we cannot achieve that objective if children with disabilities do not go to school. If we leave them out, we will never achieve this objective. It is up to the government to put everything in place so that all children can go to school in their locality, in their region and in their village.